Imagine you receive a phone call from a family member. They sound distressed and they're begging you for money immediately. In the end, you find out that you've been scammed. The phone call you received was never them, but a fake voice created using artificial intelligence or AI. Now, this isn't the start of some science fiction novel. In fact, it's become a reality for thousands of people around the world. This technology is called a voice deepfake, and with just a few euros to spare, you can pay a number of companies to produce high-quality voice clones that can be convincing enough to fool people. One recent example that went viral is when uh, 4chan users, so an online forum, replicated British actress Emma Watson's voice reading Adolf Hitler's Mein Kampf. Mein Kampf by Adolf Hitler. Read by Emma Watson. They used a voice cloning tool called a Prime Voice by the startup Eleven Labs. And here's another example of how eerily accurate their technology is. I stand before you not as an expert. One of the 400,000 people who marched in the streets of New York on Sunday. And the billions of others around the world who want to solve our climate crisis. As an actor, I pretend for a living. And many experts are becoming worried. First of all, this tool can be used to create misinformation. For example, making people believe that a politician made a shocking statement, which they never did, or to scam people, especially the elderly. And it doesn't require a lot of effort. They don't need very much of the voice to make a pretty good reproduction. So, you know, you can imagine that they just call them up, right, and uh, pretend to be a salesperson. Uh, capture just enough of the audio to make it work, and that's maybe all they would need. So what should you do to avoid being scammed? It's important to be able to verify the information. So using a, a different source, a different channel. So maybe you say you make up an excuse and you have to call them back and you call back on, you know, what you know to be their number. If they're calling and they've spoofed the number, they won't receive the call back. Take a step back and think and make sure that this makes sense. Does it really make sense that your boss is asking you to buy 10 $250 gift certificates? Probably not. The company behind the Emma Watson audio deepfake that you heard, uh, well, they said they increased the price of their services and have started manually verifying new accounts. But experts warn legislation should be put in place to avoid such scams in the future.